If you're giving somebody advice, the key to giving somebody advice on which they retain and maybe change uh, their behavior is to talk to them and try to help them. Uh, maybe you want to help them by giving them a compliment or not making them feel embarrassed for what they're already currently doing. You don't want to belittle the person or make them feel small because then they'll resist change and resist anything you may say, even if it's the right thing to do or the right course of action. The other day I came across a video where there was a realtor which was you know, ripping on people. He was just, he was, I can't believe this is happening. I'm flabbergasted and so and so is happening. I'm like, that's not the good approach. So I was watching it. I felt embarrassed, whoever that person was. And I felt like as if I was in that position, I'm like, I don't know if I want to talk to this individual. Instead, you know, if you want to give somebody advice, you know, I would, you know, there's always the, the bad news sandwich, they call it, you know, good piece of advice, bad piece of advice, good piece of advice, not bad, you know what I mean? Like negatives. So when I was coaching, I would resonated well with, when I was coaching hockey, what resonated well with my athletes was that I would go in and say, Hey, like, I like how you did this. Uh, we need to maybe tweak this here and there. So that's the bad part, you know, to change it this way. And if you do that, I can see you excelling at this, you know, doing this much better because you did this kind of tweak. So something positive, something they can change, and then also reinforce with a positive reinforcement. I found that one a much better way than me just coming in and telling them what they did wrong, because then they feel small and then they resist change.